Salam, how you doing? Hope you're fine. For today, I will unbox and review the new Les Sultana collection. I loved their previous collections and right now I'm wearing brown from their very first collection. I got myself four of her new Remar. Two of them will be in the permanent collection and the other two are special edition. And you can now use the code MUNA15 to get 15% off the entire page. I already had to open up the packages because they were so durable I couldn't rip them open and I didn't want to sit here and cut them open one by one but I will unbox them with you anyways. So this is what the packages look like. They're in this matte transparent color and they have these cute texts on it. This one says, I'm your new favorite hijab. This remar is from the permanent collection and it's called Moonlight. The gray is more of a colder color, but I like it anyways, so let's put it to a side. And next up, we have a little bit of a different type of packaging. This one says princess material, and I think that's because they call the big remar now princess, but I don't really know. This remar is from the special edition and it's called Rapunzel. With this one, you have to be a little bit careful because it changes color in different lightings. In daylight, it looks like more of a colder color and in fake lamplight, it looks very warm and bright. And again, a chemar from the permanent collection in color cool. I got it because you can never have enough black clothing. And I will also compare it to the very first chemar from Les Sultanas in black. At the top is my old remar and as you can see, the black of the new remar is not as deep. This is of course subjective, but I prefer the black of the old remar. One of the special editions, Morning Frost, in this nice minty type of green. It is a rather bold color, but we all have to step out of our comfort zone at one point, right? And I also got myself chocolate from the permanent collection. The color of the new Remar is not comparable with the old collection. Currently, I have my eyes set on the color purple, so this is why I got myself this bold eggplant Remar. The Remar kind of smell weird, and this is because of this packaging, since it's not normal plastic. It is biodegradable plastic, which means that it is plant-based. I am in total support of it and you can easily wash away the smell. I am already wearing Morning Frost and in this video I will give you an honest review on how I find the new collection compared to the old collections. They now don't only sell these big remar anymore but also a smaller version of it that I'm so excited to show you. I absolutely love to wear abayas and these big cremoires are cute and nice but they put all the focus on themselves and don't really leave room for other pieces to shine. The winter collection is different from the others because this time they used a new fabric. Here I have the three collections. This is the very first collection, this is the summer collection 2021 and here we have the new winter collection. The oldest chiffon collection is so soft. The new collection is definitely similar to it, but you can feel that it is a different type of fabric. The new collection is a little bit more harsher, but you can only really feel it when you compare them directly to each other. Visual wise, there is not that much of a difference. The old collection is a little bit more see-through and lighter and the new collection is more opaque and a little bit more heavier. The added weight just really makes the Hamar so much more flowy. So if you are satisfied with your oldest collection, you will definitely love the newest collection. When it comes to the weight, the new collection is supposed to be a little bit heavier, but I really cannot feel a difference holding it like this. If you already have one of Le Sultana's summer collection pieces, one of her pastel colors, you will be so pleased with the new collection since the fabric is way more softer, way smoother. Honestly, the summer collection kind of feels super tough and rough in comparison to the new collection, so you will definitely love it so much more. Pastel colors are never fully opaque, but as you can see, the winter collection does a way better job. 
on the left side is vintage rose from the very first collection and as you can see it is more opaque but I think it's due to the dark color. The fabric feels a little bit elastic which makes the khamar stay on pretty well and of course it has a pop-up naqab. Because the khamar is too layered, the naqab is completely opaque. If you are lazy like me and hate ironing, then you will appreciate these khamar so much since you barely have to iron them, only really once when you get them out of the package. I absolutely love the movement of the khamar. I think it is because the fabric is super sleek and soft, but also because it is a little bit more heavier than the previous collections. We all know that light colors are usually not the most opaque, but this pastel purple is reaching beyond expectations. And here we have the new small model I was waiting to show you. Less fabric also means less weight, so if you are struggling with migraines or headaches, this one is for you. The small khamar definitely give more room for movement. But be careful since the smooth fabric can easily glide off your bag when you bend over for example or blow up when you are in the wind. The small khimar has a gap in the shoulder area which leaves the sleeve of your abaya uncovered, ready to be shown off. As a size reference, I am 180 and the khimar reaches until my belly button when I wear it as a naqab. And for the back, it reaches until the middle of my bottom. Again, we have a very light color that is completely opaque. The khimar is double layered just to make sure, but even if it wasn't, you wouldn't even be able to see through one layer. Make sure to use the code MUNA15 to get 15% off the entire page. And that was it with the video. You have to let me know which model you prefer. I heard that the large model is the best seller, even though the small model is my personal favorite. If you don't know how to bind a khimar, then click on this video right here where I made a tutorial for all the different ways. And that was it. Bye! <laughs>